We need to find out what happened to that kid. If we're Dragon Mark like he is, then he's in our pack. We have to look out for him. Do you really believe if the Dragon Mark go free, the whole world will end? The Dragon King destroyed the fairy realm. That's a fact. This is it. Ready to see where Kristoff took that kid? Okay, isn't she? I'm fine. Misha had a close call, but I don't sense any damage. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> I'm curious about the spell that's fused to Misha's aura. Spell? It looks like my old teacher Lewis's handiwork, but I've never seen a spell quite like it. Lewis was there when Misha and Jessa were born. His magic saved Misha's life. What were you thinking letting Misha take part in combat class? I was thinking that Misha had sufficient skills to defend herself against a bunny shifter. Well, you thought wrong, and your stupidity almost ruined everything. Ruined? Sorry, am I interrupting? No. No interruption. We were just discussing Coach Rehan's regrettable lapse in judgment. I just heard what happened. Is Misha okay? She's a 16-year-old wolf shifter who can't shift. She's most certainly not okay. Her lack of power is unfortunate, but as long as Misha's unharmed, that's all that really matters. It's imperative that we keep Misha protected. I know you're concerned about the safety of all our students. Yes, yes, of course, all of the students. You are the council leader! You're supposed to make sure the schools are safe, especially the academy. I am so grateful you were there. We're not there yet. Uh, okay. You're feeling okay? Uh, no cuts, no bruises? I'm fine, Jonathan. You know, you could call me Dad. Uh, I'm fine. Dad? Uh, Borkild said so. That's not all she said. Who's this Lewis guy? And how did he save my life? Tell them. The night you two were born should have been the best night of our lives. No, not should have been. Was. And it was the worst night, too. You were both so tiny and so perfect. After the midwife left, we just wanted to hold you for hours. We were devastated when we saw your dragon marks. Lewis was an old friend and the most powerful sorcerer we knew. He tried covering your dragon marks with a concealing spell, but that wasn't enough. The magic of dragon marked twins, your magic, was too powerful. We knew we had to separate you. I had spent time in the human world, so we decided that was the best place for me to take one of you and hide. Lewis was able to bind Misha's powers, so she could live as a human. No one had ever done anything like it before. But Lewis was very powerful and very determined. 
his suppression spells work. He saved your lives. You have to understand, it was the only way to keep you, both of you, safe. Me and Jessa used to talk about everything, but I can't even remember the last time we had a real conversation. I think Jess is just worried about Misha. Without her shifter powers, it's scary how vulnerable she is. Topic? I'm, I'm worried, worried about, about Jessa. And I'm worried about both of them. There's something you should know. The night that we broke into Kristoff's study, Jessa didn't leave empty-handed. Okay, I get why you did what you did, but where's this Lewis now? I need him to fix his stupid spell. I don't know. He disappeared years ago. No one knows where he went. We can find someone else who can remove the suppression spell. I don't think that's a good idea. Because your ideas have worked out so well? Jessa! What? It's true! You separated us, and you took away Misha's wolf! You say it was to protect us, but we missed out on so much! You have no idea of the sacrifices! That's enough for tonight. The girls need to get back to the dorm before curfew. It's so freaky. If it hadn't been for Lewis, we'd be in a cloister right now. If they had locked us up, at least we would have grown up together. And then we would have found a way to escape. <gasps> I bet that's what that boy you saw was trying to do! Escape! Except Kristoff caught him. Ready for another adventure? I'm ready for anything. If you're going on another field trip, we're coming too. And here's our permission slip. We're trying to find the door that matches up to the one we saw Kristoff call up in the woods, right? Right-ish. Misha and I already found the door. You did? What? Wait! But we couldn't get it open, and we tried everything. If the door isn't keyed to your aura, it's not gonna open, no matter what you do. We couldn't open Kristoff's door, but maybe one of you can. Look, Max, it's the door to home. Huh. Come on, let's stop by Bunica's Bakery and get something to eat. Maybe pop in and say hi to Mom and Dad. That's a solid N.O., little bro. We don't have a legit pass. We're using a stolen token. So no, we are definitely not dropping in on family. Oh, uh, no Kozuna Kunuka. Listen, do you hear that? Nope. Nothing. Uh-uh. I don't. Really? Uh, Mm -hmm. You don't hear that? Probably an earworm. Ew, gross. It's not an actual worm. It's what it's called when a song gets stuck in your head. Oh, I hate when that happens. See? There it is! Jay, come give it a try. Mm -hmm. oh, oh! Jay! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Where are we? Where did they go? What is this place? Don't you recognize it? No, how could I? I've never been here before. No one has. Not for a thousand years. A thousand years? Wait, you think this is the fairy realm? I don't think. I know. This is fairy. This is home. But the fairy realm is dead. And this place is... Devastated but not dead. Dum, da -da 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 -da. Oh, 
But it's time to admit it. We're in over our heads. <sighs> Misha's right. <sighs> we need to go get Dad. It can't be the fairy realm. It's impossible. It's clearly not impossible, since that's exactly what happened. The kid said Jay heard music, and Jay is the one it opened for. So we just need another fairy to open it. You don't need a fairy. We're Fae, too. As Stratford's Fae leaders, Fairy will respond to us. Obviously, we do need a fairy to open a door to the Fairy Realm. Kristoff's aura spell will trick the door into believing the Headmaster is a fairy like Jay. What if Jay and Brax... Oh, I should have seen that. What if Brax and I never... I could have caught them any... I should have been faster. I mean, we haven't. We were supposed to... someday. Your magic isn't working. It's time to use our powers and force it open. Everyone knows you can't force a door to open. We are not everyone. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. My mom's got an attack spell that can take down a fortress. The fairy realm, after so many years. If Brax and Jay are trapped in fairy without a door, they're never coming home. Your daughters and their friends had no business being in here. It's entirely their fault Jay and Braxton are in danger. Right now, we have bigger problems to deal with. You'll have to deal without me. There's nothing more I can do. Kristoff! <sighs> I'm sorry, Headmaster Kristoff. You need to open a door to the fairy realm. I have already tried to open the door. The hub is not cooperating. You don't need the hub. You can make a door anywhere. I've seen you do it. Yes, I can open a door to many places, but only places I've been before. And I've never been to fairy. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. <sighs> We tried everything. When Jay was standing at the door, they said they heard something. Jay has always been a good listener. If you need a fae who's good at listening, maybe I can help. <laughs> I'm not just a fae. I'm a teacher, a husband, and a father. I know how to listen. Really listen.
Your daughter's recklessness could have cost two lives. Get your pups under control, or we'll do it for you. Student access to the hub is restricted until further notice. All existing tokens have been deactivated. Any student caught trying to enter the hub will be expelled. Is Jay gonna be okay? Jay made a profound connection with Fairy. Now that they've lost it, Jay may never feel whole again. Your latest stunt has proven to everyone that you cannot handle your power responsibly. We're really sorry. Wasted seconds, wasted minutes in a life where I Drifting all right, all day. I could feel a hole in me. It was you, and the clock kept ticking. Cause we were lost in the distance, and our past it fell in this. Yeah, we felt the other missing.